Oh, right, ladies and gents, uh, here we are at Spooky Woods. Bodwin has some uh, company today. All the usual suspects. Here's Bodwin. Oh, we'll say uh, David's been very quick off the mic. We haven't even sort of just turned up now. And um, Marty, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. I'll get you back at some point. Um, Marty's just given out some little, some, some Christmas little gift series. What was a, a we all got one. Um, that's really, really nice of him. A little spirit burner there, and the little windbreak. And David's uh, quick off the mark there. Oh, to, yeah, uh, a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. Morning, so. Cool. I've noticed that, mate. I'm liking that. You like that? I do like that. Yeah. That'll take a two litre pot as well, mate, wouldn't it? Is that what's that one? The American one. This Pathfinder one, yeah. Is that what? It, is that the Morse, Morse pot, mate? Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not Morse, it's the... Uh, Pathfinder version of the Morse pot. Yeah, yeah. That's stainless steel, the Morse pot's only mini minute, that's yeah. what's always put me off there. Yeah, oh. Look at that, perfect. Perfect, mate, yeah. Keep your eye on that, mate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the big fella. Look, Paul's already. David. Paul, look. <laughs> He's always sitting down, he is. <laughs> Marty and Mike. So, ladies and gents, yeah, uh, I'll bring you back, but I think uh, we're going to get a brew on. But it ain't a too bad a place, lads, is it, you know? Um, Yeah, that could be classed as Gaylord. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> I wondered how long it was going to be. No, it's a blokey type of colour. I wondered how long it was going no. to be, like before somebody cracked on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I kept talking about his... Uh, You're trying to get dog, me back. He's a uh, dog lead. I kept saying that is Gaylord. Oh. <laughs> it is not Gaylord. No, it's not. It's not, because <laughs> it is a dog lead. It's not a bushcrafty thing, but... Um, my missus has made me, well she saw it and I told her and she sort of convinced me, I went, you haven't had a laugh, do you know one of them molly things for the dog? Yeah. Got one of them coming, very cheap mate, I wouldn't pay a lot of money for it, but it's the same as other people use, but they put their, they have their name sewn onto it, various company names, uh, but one of them coming for him, um, you know, and I put a few molly pads, and I'll tell you what, it's just to keep Mrs. Tightwood happy, you know what I mean, she, she loves the idea on that, uh, and uh, a lead, but it's, again, it's one of them springy leads, you know, so when he pulls, especially yeah, for me, misses like, yeah, yeah, and that's the, the thing with that other one and that as well, like, and Booty's the same. She's small but powerful, like. But yeah, no, there, yeah. yeah, mate. Um, well, if you give me your measurements, I'll do your harness. He's um, he kind of got one, mate, but you know one of the um, Molly things. I don't want to mention a name, but there's a, there's a company that pushes them at the moment, oh. and this one's exactly the same, but just hasn't got that company's oh, patch right. phone on it, and it's a lot cheaper. Oh, right. Um, I see what it's like when it gets here, mate, because it wasn't a great deal of money, and sometimes you can get things from China in. Don't panic, I won't go to no. you. No, 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 <laughs> mate. <laughs> um, but sometimes they can turn up in, uh, you know, two weeks or, or a month, yeah, like you know, yeah. and sometimes even quicker than bloody something from England. But yeah, um, I think I'd better just uh, get a brew on, haven't I? I can't read, 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 I can not read 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 i yeah. Oh, you've got more titanium there, mate, than, uh, yeah, than F-15. Yeah, that's the full set now. <laughs> that's the, like you've robbed the Eurofighter titanium there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one, mate. You wouldn't know, it? No. You could put it any point where it wraps around. I didn't realise it packed down like And I've only ever seen that bag before, and that was at Pepper's meeting when Lone Wolf won on the raffle. Well, I haven't got a full burn in it. I'm going to put a burn in it and uh, give it a blast. Jeez, that's a nice size for giving that a lot of heat. Yeah, so like say if I had my shelter up, I actually might put my shelter up. Yeah. I might put my tarp up in a minute somewhere. So don't fall down on me. And uh, yeah, I'll give it a blast. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice size. It's fine, we'll carry your stuff out of yeah, this. Yeah, <laughs> I like. Hey. Ooh. And here we see, uh, oh, I have to get that sort because that's my brew. 
and I'm going to have a uh, bushcraft cookie cooked on Mrs. Tightwad's recipe why Paul's good lady right, take care and uh, obviously the cruise over here lads ladies and gents show was up and so forth and uh, David's having a little play about with configurations I'm told by Mike this is called the plow point configuration oh, it looks like a plow that's how to Tonka Tart proper quality Mike's definitely think that Mike's had a good old um, look at this and thinking about getting one. It's like a material. Well, not polyurethane, but it's a. Uh, it's not going to be cheap, but as Davey said, it lasts forever. Stitching on there. Holes the lot, sorry, that's my dodgy. And this is a 3x3 three three, mate, is it? Yeah. Nice little bit of kit. So again, you don't get much bushcrafting on these days out, but you get a chance to come out and just play about, test your kit and, uh, yeah. To be honest, I haven't used this harp enough yet to sort of find out what configurations I can do best with it. So, yeah. uh, well, no, because I'm trees. told that's called the plough point. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's okay. what uh, Colin at the Suffolk mate he often uses that, and that's what Mike's just told me. And I can see what I mean. It just looks like a plough, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, really it's no plough. I don't really know by names. But I just nah. Know by what I do yeah. That's a beautiful bit of a uh, tarp there, mate, isn't it? It goes up easy, and this is a good way of setting up a tarp, which. On a windy condition, yeah. it's really good because obviously you ain't got no guidelines or anything. It's not no. flapping around. It's, it's a, like four fixed points. You ain't going yeah. nowhere. Not so easy. Have you got the old um, oh, IB? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good okay, game, mate. Nice. And what material is this again, mate? Yeah, poly cotton. Poly cotton. Yeah, to get it right. Yeah, it's nice. And it's fully waterproof. But as you say, it's not like you can't like fireproof but it's, it will certainly take a good it's spot tired, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah it will uh yeah you can put a fire under it and it ain't gonna sort of yeah. shrivel up or anything nah. like that or melt, melt like the old dd ones that which yeah i'm not knocking dd all polythyl <laughs> polyurethane <laughs> that, that, was. that was the biggest raspberry do you mind i needed a neck wash <laughs> <laughs> get them potatoes out of me, yeah. Uh, what Martin's uh, doing, he's, he's going to sort of measure us all up because you're going to do as a, the bracelet, a bracelet, mate, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. And mine's going to be in the regimental colours of black that and green. Certainly Thank is. you very much, black mate. And, black and green, green. Because yes. you make, uh, well, I'll show that one that you made me for the, the new knife oh, that I've got there, mate. That's a that. cracking bit of kit. Just but yeah, I'll, I'll shut this off now. All right, ladies and gents. Um, Big Marty's the. Uh, Martin's the uh, OIC of our Iceni patches, and this is what we're going to do at the moment. We've uh, gone for it nice and Iceni crew with a the fire. There's yeah, various the designs that are uh, both David. OIC, Ricky, OIC, and IBC. And BBC. <laughs> OIC means officer in charge. Oh, does it, right? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm uh, trying not to say this because David gets the answer. Does he? Yeah, we don't like them in time at all. No, I was just we'll can't help it. Dave, we'll have to have our own language, aren't we? Yeah. You get in two together, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't but get a word in either. No. No. It's all but wet, isn't it? Yeah. For the, for the, <laughs> for the two of yeah, you, that's um, you come up with a really nice design there. Over, for a little... Yeah, quite, some, quite some time ago, we had Eddie and Keith. <laughs> right, and we're sitting around the campfire. Right, and all it was was army this, army that, army this. And I'm just sitting there, and Eddie said, "Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, Mike." He said, "We shouldn't really be talking about it." Army, 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 yeah. army, 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 army. I don't mind it. I actually enjoyed seeing your pictures of you as a youngster. What, a little boy with a, a rifle? <laughs> yeah, quite a, quite a thick, thick yeah. young lad as well, wouldn't you? Uh, in, back in the day, as they say, there, mate. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, my first tour. Um, I, 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 he's, uh, you know, I, I look like a boy of about 12 and somebody's giving him a rifle <laughs> and I'm running across the Falls Road and that. But yeah, genuinely, even in training, man, it lasted the way into the battalion. Was My nickname was just Babyface. Oh, right. You know? You um, ain't being on the arm. I was in a boy's brigade. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm joking, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that was tough, well, mate. <laughs> yeah, just having a little um, play about with the old kit and that. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was only a junior leader oh, yeah. for 18 months. That's all I yeah. lasted. Yeah, I went in for a fortnight and got you three months. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, man? So, I was in the boys' brigade for a fortnight and I got you ten months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I, another round of bruises in order. Hello ladies and gents, it's my little belt kit here, what I've got, and uh, in the front bit here I've got my uh, Condor bush lower, which is not a bad little knife what I use, it's cheap but it's cheerful and it works, um, I've got a little um, saw here, which has got Outlander on the side of the nice scabbard, which um, was made by Tony Cohn, Tony Chicken Leg Cohn, that's my opening saw in there, that's pretty good. That's, your missus got you that, didn't she? Yes, uh, Carl bought me the yeah. saw on that, yeah, and I say totally chicken leg cone, done me the um, scabbard for it, which is brilliant. Nice. I will chop with that. And there's a little axe handle here, with an axe thing that I got off um, Ginger Bruce. Mm. He gave me that when we went to the bushcraft meet the other week there. Mm. That's got nice engraving. Yeah, see, he's done a good job yeah. on that. I didn't bring the axe with me today, yeah. but it's on the belt kit there, in case yeah. I need it. And this is a little pouch with uh, Mac made me. Mm. It's got the... Um, First field dressing. First there, field yeah. dressing in there. It's also got a survival blanket okay. in there. Yeah. And there's even a pen in there. I didn't know was there a sharpie of some sort. Yeah. And there's that little tin at the bottom. There's oh, nothing in it at the moment. I don't think. No, but, that's, uh, for that's for just sticking little fire straws yeah. in and what have you. So that's a handy little bit of kit. Always handy yeah. to have that field dressing on yeah. you in case you cut yourself. Exactly, mate. Wherever the knife it's goes, that goes. Yeah. yeah, it's on your belt all yeah. the time. So. Um, but the thing is. Um, you know, a bit of brass though, goes yep. nicely in that mini Yeah, that's right, yes, yeah. Yep. Mini, Good little fire starting kit. And you've got, you got the basics there to survive yeah, there, mate. Yeah, I've got my little possible pouch. Um, it's got a little fire kit in there, all my little bits and pieces. And we've got a little trench lighter in there as well. Oh, yeah. Which is uh, pretty nifty, yeah, it does work actually. It will um, get you an ember on there. Yeah. Um, more little tin charcoal rough and uh, straws in there full of Vaseline and yeah. cotton wool. It's always a handy little thing to have on it. Um, oh, little mint tins mate, I keep collecting them. Another little there. pouch in here full of stuff. It's mostly fire kit in this little yeah. pouch, but um, it's always handy to have. We've got a, what do you call that, from the friendly Swede, this yeah, one Yeah, the here. old magnesium fire, magnesium but I swear fire by starter, them, mate, yeah. yeah. Very, very good piece of kit. Yeah. A little bit more uh, just tender in there. Yeah. There's some uh, cotton wood at the bottom of it as well. Um, stick all that in there. It's always handy to have these little bits just in case. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got a lovely fire steel, which I got off Mac, which I haven't put a handle on it yet, yeah. but I'll keep that in here. Yeah. And I've also got, which I always get, every time you go to McDonald's, I always pick up the little stairs. Yeah. It's always handy for a little, help you get a fire going Very, as well. Yeah. I've got loads of these indoors, my pockets are full of them and all. 
and I just keep all of them down. And so you've not case. stole them, you just relocate them, mate. Just yeah. relocate them, like you know what yeah. I mean. No, no, no. I say I've chuffed a bits with this whole thing here. That's a great little bit of kit, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said those spark up and all, and it will get you an ember going on that too. Yeah. So um, a friend of mine gave that to me. I don't know where the hell he got it, but that's nice it's old me. style kit as well, mate. Yeah, yeah. and say so it's all got me um, little bits and pieces in here as well. Um, there's more straws down there. We've even got tampons in there as well. Oh yes, they, they, they go every time, mate. Yeah, they're always handy. There's something else in here. I don't know what the hell it is, but let's see what we've got in here. A bit of rubber. Yeah. More straws. A bit of flint. Nice one, mate. Got, uh, steel. Steel yeah, in there yeah. too. That's a nice steel, mate. Yeah. yeah, and I've also got another for the same rod in there. Yeah. And they're all little bits and pieces, and there's char cloth down in there somewhere as well. Yeah. And no, a nice compact little kit there, mate. Yeah. Yes, it's always handy. You know, you, you never know when you need it. You're going to no, get a fire. And it's always, you know, uh, more tender in there as well. Yeah. So there's enough in there to get your fire going if you need. Oh, it, definitely, you know. mate. Several different ways as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a few different ways. It's, uh, one's no good. Yeah, you always get it another way. You know. Yeah. Depend on the conditions you're out in. Exactly, mate. Yeah. You it's know, been, the weather uh, conditions. And what this is down with rain here for yeah. ages, isn't it, mate? Well, oh, yeah. can't grumble because we're not getting it like anybody else in the yeah. old country. Yeah. And uh, you see it on the news, mate. You just feel sorry for them people, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's terrible up there. Uh, and as somebody people. said, somebody said, oh, oh, I will agree with this. Uh, the government needs to put their hand in their pocket and stop sending it elsewhere, mate. Yeah. Well, but this is actually uh, people up north need it. Well, this is the thing, you know, I mean, it's all right sending it out to all these foreign countries, no. it, which have not, not a problem helping people, but help the people at home first, you know? Yeah, mate, yeah, there's a lot of and people, yeah, I'll leave it there, mate. Especially so. uh, old soldiers and that that are homeless. Yeah, uh, well, there's a lot of people up there, mate, that need yeah. help. It's simple as that, people mate. I don't do, do like yeah. anything too political on my old no, phones no, and that's no, no. not what I'm about. But yeah, somebody made a comment on Facebook, and you know, I, I, I 100% agree with it, mate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the government needs to put their hand in their pockets, yeah. and they've got lots of soldiers to turn out and help yeah. people, like well, you know. Charity begins at home. Well, yes, yeah, 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 there's people up there, but I'll leave it there, mate, but yeah, there's a lot of people in the UK need help, and the government better get their hand in their pocket, mate, you know? Very true, yeah. very true. And there's plenty of soldiers, if they need manpower, you know, all engineers, you know, they, they do things that people oh, only dream about. Are amazing, mate. Well, I was an engineer for 18 years, yeah, you know. royal engineer, and um, they, the things they can't do is not worth yeah, doing. They work 24-7, mate, yeah. I mean, a lot of them have been deployed, but I reckon it should, just should have been sooner, they knew yeah. it was coming. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope everybody gets sorted because I just when you look at that, mate, it's just yeah, it's bad got enough any time of the year having that sort of thing happening, yeah. but over Christmas and all, it's got to be devastating for yeah. people. Yeah, you know what I mean? but anyway, yeah, Cameron, get your hand in your pocket, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I don't normally do political things, but yeah, you know what I mean? That's oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes you have to say something. Well, yeah, well, it's been said there, mate, and yeah. I don't think you know, I think people can agree or disagree, I don't really care. No, me either, no. Mate. no. But, uh, I just hope they get what they need. Yeah. And the uh, firebox out there, isn't it? That's nice, that, isn't it? That's no, the XL Bushcraft Central. I'll tell you what, mate, do you know there's so many different ones, <laughs> I just call them all bush boxes bush <laughs> with my old brain. Well, I like to try them all. Yeah. yeah. That's a brilliant little kit, that is. Cheers for that, Mario. Yeah. A little chop with that, mate. And again, yeah, we we'll all got one of them. Yeah, we I will yeah. use that and all. Nice little. Um, Trangier type that, burner and uh, the shield and a little cup with it. Yeah, that's a nice one. And again, thanks a lot for that, Marty. That's a really nice thing there, mate. Yes, yeah. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, I think another bruising order. Yes, me and Carl open shop and have a nice cup of tea on the right.